Let's return to uh, some Christian news. Did you know that um, there is an Archbishop we have in Britain called Archbishop Justin Welby? Yes, uh, I certainly uh, do. Did, have you heard of him? Now, yes. Justin Welby, is a, in a report by Archbishop Cranmer, which is a blog site. he was asked in a, a sort of interview, one of these lightweight interviews where you're just given a series of slightly banal questions, and uh, he was asked what his favourite quotation was. And he's talking about uh, quotations from the Bible here. He says, You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. John fifteen sixteen. So that's Jesus speaking to his disciples, or specifically mm-hmm. to the apostles at that time. Justin Welby, uh, then, believes that he has been chosen and appointed by God and his mission is to be God's servant for good. Now, Justin Welby is effectively leader of the Church of England. It's a, a rather loose title in that he has very significant influence, but yes. not necessarily actual power. He's first among equals. Yes. Bishops have power. The archbishop doesn't necessarily have power no. over his bishops. And then there are other archbishops around the world, and he certainly isn't really above them he's meant to be equal with them but first among mm-hmm. equals there are two archbishops in england there's an archbishop of canterbury and archbishop of york and technically they're equal in fact the archbishop of canterbury is seen as the being the boss yes now he's in that position gives that quote and then he's asked what do you most regret about uh, your your time as archbishop and he says the times i'm careless he says about other people's views that's an interesting point. Yes, and I think <laughs> some people are encouraged by that statement. Yes. But I think there are a lot more people who are discouraged by it. <laughs> yes. That being Archbishop of Canterbury he has the opportunity to say what he thinks. Perhaps he doesn't do that. He mm. prefers to listen. Yes. Now, in the Church of England, there are various possible changes afoot which um, go against the, or maybe develop it would be the other point of view, the teachings of scripture and certain beliefs in the church, particularly on moral teaching. And there's going to be a vote on homosexuality at the Lambeth Conference. Now, the Lambeth Conference is the meeting of the archbishops we referred to. Now, Church of England vicars and churchgoers have taken to social media to criticise this potential vote on a previous position which rejects homosexuality as incompatible with scripture which they did at the previous Lambert mm-hmm. Conference. It's as organisers published a booklet early this week with the draft calls expected to be debated and voted on in the conference. It also detailed how an electronic system will be used to record the bishops' votes and views. But, you know, it won't be a binding vote. It would just be a sounding of their opinion. What do you think? Do you think it's unhelpful? It's stirring things up. I find that difficult to say. Firstly, I'm not an Anglican. Quite right. Because this has been going on for years and years. I think 2003 set it off, where the archbishops came together and moves were made to incorporate people who described themselves as lesbian, gay and all the rest of the alphabet to incorporate them into churches. Yeah. For a large proportion of those people, they wanted that to go as far as the Church of England changing its mind about marriage. Marriage not being between a man and a woman, but marriage between men and men and women and women, as well as between a man and a woman. And actually, a bishop was appointed in America who wanted that to happen. He's no longer a bishop. I mean, he may be styled bishop, but he is no longer in in the church. He's not a minister of the church. Maybe he might well have permission to preach. I don't think he's died yet. Um, And since 2003, it's been going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Various means have been brought up to discuss this and engineer the ability of people to belong to the Church of England, men and women who are gays and lesbians. But because of this overwhelming desire of the LGBTQ lobby to enlarge marriage, to include them, it has not been resolved. And the Christian would say, okay, you can be a homosexual or a lesbian, but as long as you don't practice that definition, 
then you can come into our churches and be part of our churches. Yes, but yes. But we cannot have you ministering the gospel if you are a practising lesbian or homosexual. Yes, it's, it's interesting that um, theological training, this was discussed, and uh, the point was made that while well, homosexuals and lesbians themselves don't recognise the difference between practising and not practising one, as though that was a point not to do it. Uh, but the answer is yes but god does because yes. having a desire for sin is not sin itself so i think that's just an obvious yeah but you see there's a move and i think there's sort of a pressure to move in a particular direction which is more and more freedom as is seen on sexual matters and it's seen as being a one-way street and i don't think that this is the case there's a belief it's sort of settled for time and that uh, there's been same-sex marriage been agreed in the in parliament therefore it will be in the church and it's all moving in that one direction but it's not settled no not at all and most people don't agree with it yeah they would say in a survey but if you went after they'd filled in a survey or whatever and said come on you can tell us and in an unguarded moment people would say well no i believe homosexuality is wrong now, I can't prove that, but I, I'm just saying that, come on, you know that's true. Because people know, and even homosexuals know, they feel that what they're doing is wrong. And, well, um, surely they have a conscience. Yeah, do they a not? natural conscience. Unless it's been overridden. Yes, it's become calloused and hardened, but it's still there. And so I think that these things aren't set in stone. Now, let me give you an example of how you think, oh, things aren't going to be reversed. Uh, over in the United States, uh, there's the Roe versus Wade case, which uh, is seen widely as uh, it being overturned uh, as banning abortion, which, because it isn't. It, it was the other way around, that it was a very strange decision to allow abortion across the country, the Roe versus Wade decision by the Supreme Court in America. And its reversal simply means that now individual states decide whether uh -huh. abortions are there. But people thought that that would never change. Yes, I know. I've there's no the way that would change. And it did. Why did it change? And here's where the evangelical Christians may be right that Trump has been put in place. Because he appointed conservative judges. He was asked, how will you? And he said, you know, he, he thought that abortion, he was against abortion. How will you do that? He said, well, I'll appoint judges. Who will do it? And this was sort mm -hmm. of outrageous. And that's what he did. Yes. And so the change has been made. God puts in place some certain person. I believe Trump was the person. Whether he's the right person for the next election, that's another matter. Well, maybe he is, but I, you know, I'm just saying that isn't a comment on that. In that time, just as um, Queen Esther back in the Bible got into a position of political power and her uncle said to her, perhaps you have arrived here for such a time as this it's a yes. well-known phrase because she could have a certain influence and in the same way people like donald trump could be there for such a time as this and can make changes and changes can happen and god puts place to do them where is that person in britain well, i haven't seen them yet but that doesn't mean that they're not there and that god doesn't no. know who they are i've been amazed how god works in some situations god puts people the most unlikely people sometimes in to position to do what he wants they may not even realize they're doing it but uh, yes. his will becomes affected 